Hello my friend, in our last video, so we uploaded this image by clicking like this inside the node server. So after this, we also needed to make this delete undelete function, but we spent too much time to upload the image, so we didn't do that. So now it's time to make this undelete function. But before doing it, so after uploading this image, I want that image uh, displayed in here. So first I will make that one. So come back to our text editor. In here, so we put all of the images, the path, uh, inside the image state in here. So bring this image state in here. So we will do map because the this image state consists of this array. So we can do map and image and index like this and src maybe http local post 5000 and this image and art product image and index uh, it needs to go out of here and then we also need to style for this image it will be min width 300 and width 300 px and height will be 240 px so and save it and, and save it come in here i'm going to upload the image um, this one oh uh, now maybe there is some error okay we need to keep the slash in here so i'm going to do it again so now we can see this image so i'm going to upload one more so we can see this image but styling is a little bit weird because uh, this one this one needs to be pixel not just p so come back in here so i'm going to upload it again this one and this one okay it's perfect right now so what we need to do is that when we click this one we can just delete this image in this list so we give this undelete function delete and we need to make this undelete function appear so the way how we will delete this image is uh, inside this state array this one will be index 0 and this one will be index 1 so when we click this one we know this one is index 1 so we will so delete just the index 1 image inside this image state that is what we will do to for this undelete function so we need to put this image information inside in here like this and then we will get this one as a parameter here and we will get this targeted images index by doing like this current index images this state inside this state we will do index of and image like this but in case if you don't know about this index of is, if we come back in here, so I'm going to make just a const uh, let hello and one, two, three, like this, and then hello and index of three. So we get this index two uh, because it starts from index 0, index 1, index 2. If we want to uh, know this one number's index is index of and 1. So we get this index 0. So that's what we are doing right in here. So we get the current index by using index of and then new images. We actually don't have to change this 
this state directly so that's why we put all of the images information in here and then we will change this new images so we will do like this splice current index and one so what this does is if we come back in here we have this array so if i do hello and splice and if i want to just uh, delete this one so this one's index is 0 1 so 1 and just uh, start from this one so how many things you will delete so just uh, only one thing this one so if i do like that and then if i just uh, type hello again this two value has already gone because the, by using this uh, splice so if i want to uh, delete this three one i can also do like this hello and splice and this index is one and i want to delete only one thing start from here so one and if i type hello again inside this hello only one value stays in here so that's what we are doing in here so we already delete the targeted image uh, inside this state so we have new image stayed in here so we need to change so we need to put this one like this and then we also need to update this new image state into this the parent component by using this this one so this time it will be just new image so i'm going to save it and come back to our application and i will upload it and i will upload one more so i will click it click it so yeah delete it really well so thank you for watching this video and in our next sections we are going to make this unsubmit function when we click this submit button so see you in our next video thank you